Hey everyone, we're Tom and Bunny. Tonight we're going to talk about misconceptions. You know, you hear about these little things from your friends because you're a swinger. Right. And you know they're not true. No, they're not. It, the list is long and many, so tonight we're going to just cover a few. If you know of a few, email us and let us know and we'll go over this another time. This is our top six that we came up with from past to present and yes, we wrote them down. We did we, have a list. We, we, we did like 30 takes be before we decided to write this crap down. So... Because <laughs> that's all we talk, just crap. Crap, the forever. We just ramble. We do. <laughs> so one of the biggest misconceptions is that the swingers in the lifestyle community will have sex with everybody and anybody. Now, while that's not entirely true, and it can be true, there are some that will have sex there. with anybody and everybody, any time, any day, any place. And I think uh, we all have those few people that we can name off the top of our heads who are like that. Right. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because the swing lifestyle is about mm -hmm. finding people to have sex with. Right. It's open and you do whatever you want to do, whatever you're comfortable with. But... Not all of us have sex with everybody. Not all of us do. We, do. we do have to actually have something in common. Most people do. And we're finding now, everyone wants to create this long-lasting friendship. Yeah, a little hard to do now. <laughs> a little hard to do when we're traveling. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't want a long-lasting friendship, send us an email. <laughs> so, yes, one of the misconceptions is, is not everybody in the lifestyle community is going to have sex with everybody. That's correct. So what's number two? Number two would... When you go to a lifestyle club, you have to have sex with somebody. Yeah, this is actually a true story. Mm -hmm. So, Bunny, she talked to you about it, so We explain. did. We had a friend, and she went to a lifestyle club for her first time with a new partner, and he told her that she had to have sex with somebody there. This was her first time. And that was her first and her last. Right, she did. She did. And, and she, did, she, with... she did what her partner had asked her, and she was not comfortable with it, and she did not like it. And she came and talked to you about it, and you said, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, know? you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. And she went, oh, my God. <laughs> she felt played. She did. I think she did get played. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's the biggest thing, communication. You need to talk about it before you get there. And, and you don't have to do anything you don't no, want to do. No, and if you're uncomfortable with it, then don't. Then don't. Right. Then don't. But you know what? But there are different parties too where they're play parties. Yes. Yeah, so it depends on where you're going to go. So a club, most of your clubs don't require anything you, need, you to do that you don't want to do. Right. There are some small clubs that will require you to participate. Mm -hmm. So but participation and, doesn't mean with whoever they just throw at you. Correct. And it, and it may extreme to that but we're talking very 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 tiny tiny bits right and most people don't hit that threshold until they've been in the lifestyle for a little while right but be aware of your surroundings if you're brand new make sure you contact the club find out what they require mm -hmm. that's the yes, easiest thing that is the most important thing all right okay <laughs> this one comes from some of the single gentlemen that were uh emailing us on our on our YouTube. On our YouTube. So uh, we just recently went through the the YouTube comments. I had we had a video just getting crazy stupid hits for about two or three days, and we we're getting a ton of comments. Well, a <laughs> lot of the comments were coming in that I couldn't satisfy Bunny, so that's why we we're in, um, in the lifestyle. Which is so far from the truth. It, it is. Uh, we got in the lifestyle because we were very young when we got married. We had little to no sexual experience. And all of our friends were divorced because of cheating. Mm -hmm. And we like to live our life open and free to choose on what we want to do. Correct. And that's why we are in the swinging lifestyle community. So dudes, and I'm talking to you, dudes, dudes, dudes. You don't have the magic stick. No. They're all over the place. You're not the one that exists. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm being derogatory right now. Don't comment with your phone number thinking she's going to pack up and call you and leave me tomorrow. It's not going to happen. Nope, not going to happen. So, I'm very well satisfied, and that's why we're in the lifestyle. I got the magic stick. Yes, so yes. let's just put that there in the bed. <laughs> 
And I like to share it, and that's why we go to clubs. Yes. <laughs> Which brings on the other misconception that we don't have enough sex at home and we have to go to clubs Swingers for don't have any sex at home, so they go out. Right. Now, again. That's the biggest. Well, I'm sure it does happen. There are probably a lot of incompatible couples with each other. They can be married, but sexually they're not compatible. So they don't have any sex at home and they go to a club to actually have sex. I am sure that happens quite a bit. I'm sure there is, but I think for the most part, I think the people that are in the lifestyle have more sex Absolutely. than Vanellis. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's for a fact. I mean, most of the couples we know are like us. And for all of our marriage, we've had sex anywhere from one time a day to two and three times a day just mm -hmm. by ourselves. And a lot of the couples that are in the lifestyle, they're so excited about the variety and everything that they actually have more sex with their own spouse than they do actually playing with the other people. Mm -hmm. And then they go and they play with other people and they're all riled up and they come home and ravage each other. Well, that's our number one rule. If we play with another couple, we still play with each other. Mm -hmm. So I have to have reserves. <laughs> it's the magic stick, dude. <laughs> Little, little bit of reserves <laughs> to satisfy me. But it's the magic stick. It is the magic All stick. All right, so round two, All three, right. four, five, whatever it is. All right. <laughs> All so. right. That really annoyed me. I know. <laughs> I, I can tell. <laughs> All right, so did you know that um, people There's in the lifestyle... There's a flying around. Did you know that people in the lifestyle are just out to convert the vanilla people? Don't we convert all of our neighbors and friends and mm, yeah, co-workers? Sure. Church people? So, yeah. 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 No. Sure do. <laughs> now, well, there are some people to give the other flip of the coin on this. It's not a total misconception. Mm -mm. There are couples out there and they pride themselves at being called vanilla hunters. If you don't know what a vanilla is, it's a non-swinger. So their goal is to get into bed with the vanilla couple. So vanilla honey. Right. Now what they'll typically do is they'll go to a bar, restaurant, nightclub, they start buying you drinks. When a couple starts buying you drinks, they're not gonna slip you a roofie for the most part. I'm sure it happens. But when they start buying you drinks, you also have to put in the back of your mind, what's the ulterior motive? And we have heard a lot of bad, bad stories where the couple gets them into bed, they play, they have a great time, and then they go home and think about it. Right, and then it gets ugly. And then it gets ugly. We've had people call us, call the clubs, going, mm -hmm. what the hell? Is this what your lifestyle is all about? And, it, and it's not. It's not. It's, it's not. not. There's a few people, uh, and, and I don't want to say bad apples. It's just I don't agree with it. No, we don't agree with it. But also, too, you know, that couple had plenty of time to communicate on what they wanted to do and the poor people that they were vanilla hunting and who they got drunk or took they advantage of they didn't were not open to that communication the, well, they, they didn't were understand. not allowed that they probably didn't even know what was happening because no. they were already too drunk right so you got a predator and a prey so that is your people trying to convert right now for the, for mo the most for part, the most part the couples aren't going to, actual couples, they're not going to convert. They might actually flirt, but you mm -hmm. flirt with your friends now most likely. They might ask you, they're not trying to convert you, they might just want to know. Yeah. Uh, it's it better to be up front. Then you got couples that are like brand new in the lifestyle, they don't dare even mention <laughs> Swing her no, outside of a no. club. But, they do it behind closed doors. But in today's society, we're a lot more open. We are. Our a kids are a lot more open. More open. Than we are. And therefore, people now, before when we first went to a club, we didn't go and tell anybody. No. Now, people go to the club and they go and they tell everybody. Right. <laughs> but we still don't tell anybody because we live in a little town. <laughs> but no, for the most part, not all of the swingers are out there trying to convert. No, no. So, so just with that note that if a couple's buying you drinks, there's probably a reason behind it. <laughs> yes. They're not, uh, they're not going to take you to church on Sunday. Maybe. 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 I've been invited confess to your, church. Confess your sins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that will lead into the final one for tonight. The biggest misconception is you cannot invite your swinger to your vanilla party. You know, we have been passed by, personally, mm -hmm. friendships on Facebook, 
you know, our Facebook's pretty wild. Yeah. But what we, you know, we we know who our true friends are mm -hmm. by the people who actually stay on our Facebook. Correct. Uh, we don't mind if they unfriend us because of kids or whatever. We um, tend to um, not get invited to birthday parties, Christmas parties, because they are afraid that we won't know how to behave or we might hit on our other guest. And that is so far from the truth. And I think in in the whole realm, you don't even know who your true, not true lifestyle friends are. You really don't know truly who is a, in the lifestyle and who is not. There's probably more of your friends in the lifestyle than you would even imagine if you're not in the lifestyle. So if you're not going to invite uh, that person because they're a swinger, I guarantee you probably have somebody already at that party that is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, they say that the statistical in bigger cities in bigger cities is one in four couples mm -hmm. one in four that means every three houses you walk down the street there's going to be a swinger at the fourth house right so guess what that vanilla party that you have that you didn't invite your swinger friends because they didn't know how to behave like I said you probably got two or three of them there that are behaving and you don't even know about better yet the vanilla parties you've been at were They've been little over flirtatious. You've been flashing and stuff like that. Somebody's instigating that. They, they are. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so most of the time, swingers can behave in public. Yeah. Mo they can go to vanilla parties. Right. There are people that absolutely can't. Right. I mean, I'm friends with one couple. I would never invite them to a vanilla event just because... They can they cannot separate the two. But we've which also is fine. we've also been in the lifestyle long enough to where we know those trigger points. Right. And we, we have know kids. We I mean we're normal well, semi normal. Semi normal. We're normal people. <laughs> we're just living in an alternative lifestyle. Yeah. Now it's funny too because you I know I said that was the last one, but it's funny because you bring up the the fact that we don't swingers don't have normal clothes. And it, and it just cracks me up because I told Tom we're going to an event, to a family event, and I have to go shopping for regular dresses. <laughs> so that, that um, misconception is actually true. That one isn't my stuff. <laughs> but you know, you know, but I don't work a vanilla job. That's true. I don't go to work Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 or... She 13 goes, hours she a day. She goes to Walmart like this. So look at what <laughs> I the... I go to Walmart like look this. At, look at the people at walmart.com. <laughs> you'll probably see her. <laughs> so yeah. But you know what? Like I said, that's just a short and sweet little list that we came up with. We I just, know there's plenty out there more. We just wanted to have a little fun. Yep. So until next time, we'll check out our soon. next videos. We're going to have our other videos coming up right now. Definitely support us by going to tomstrips.com. Travel with us. On our website, we list all of our destinations. Mm -hmm. Find us on Twitter. Find us on Facebook. That's on our website, tomandbunny.com. But most importantly, please subscribe to our channel. Yes. <clears throat> so everybody with that. Bunny's got a cold. <laughs> you guys all have a great night, and we'll see you soon. Have a good night.